So Q, you were talking about checking out some of the shader stuff, for example, with um, the Genesis uh, Mega Drive, especially since everybody's been so excited about that new analog NT that's come out, that Mega SG. Yeah, definitely. I'll try it with Aladdin because I love Aladdin. And I'm using uh, the LR Genesis GX Plus core. And that's the core, that's the, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but those are the scan lines I set up from, that's the filter I like right there. I think it looks really awesome. Um, but we can uh, switch over by doing this. It's really hard to see some of these from the capture, but if we what do it this way. What was that first one you used there, Q? Uh, I forget what it was, but it's awesome. I, I'll, yeah, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you later. It's it, it's it's like the smoothest one yeah. that I've ever used. Um, so um, here we go. So like, you want to see some weird shader? Let's do uh, cell shaded. And so now it's all cell shaded like a cartoon, but it was already cartoon to begin with, so it looks even worse. So, so that's cell shading. Yeah, we'll it looks kind of definitely. See, there you go. That back to a, a normal there. Mm -hmm. Cell shaded. Everything that you've ever used goes through your control M. So, like, those are some of the blurs. Um, some other ones that we should be looking at. This is one that the um, analog in, uh, analog SG is using. No problems. No tearing. No slowdowns. No, no nothing at all. Yep. It looks crisp, and ours is at 1080p, not 720. So there you go. There's a high quality. That's why I wanted to show everybody, because that's what they were all freaking out about. So they were all freaking about the about the filters and everything, and the aspect ratios and stuff. But we, I mean, even the Super Eagle shaders run fine now. So a lot of the uh, the the Pi stuff that you know was too intensive. Some of the shaders on the Pi aren't too intense for this so it's and actually pretty I, well cool. i and i think part of that might actually have to do though with kernel compatibility and i could be completely off but of course you know in it order for be, us yeah, to get yeah to get as stable as we are with the xu4 you know yes we are running an older kernel but yes it is up to date uh, but at the end of the day it's just a compatibility thing too right so i think this is the one we were using potato warm i think that was the one that i liked you know what I, I would like to see there. for us to do if we can in, in the next week That's or it, so. potato warm. Oh, okay, yeah. Look at that. I, I love that. That filter is so awesome. The scan lines are nice and tight, you know. They're not yeah, like... Yeah, exactly. A lot of yeah. times with them shaders, the scan line shaders, they're so big. Right. This looks like they were intentionally made this way. It, it looks really nice. So, yeah, I so love something this, uh, that, um, potato, yeah. That I was saying that I wanted to bring up um, is that, you know, what have we tested right now, guys? Um, of course, I know, John, you haven't gotten your dev kit yet. But, Qbert and, and Eric, in your experience, what have you guys tested for controller compatibility so far? I have, I have tested um, my gamers tech, uh, all the gamers tech work. Um, those are just. Uh, PS3 Shans one, Shans one, you know, clones. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, like I said, those new Saturn controllers worked, no problem. 
Um, the what else did I try? Actually, that's it. That's it. those are all I've tried so far. So we haven't gotten into any wireless controllers yet. No, I, I only have I only have an Xbox wireless controller. That's the only thing wireless controller I have. Once um, I once I get something, I have a bunch. I have the uh, the NES 30s. I got the um, the new uh, 8 bit bit uh, SATA controllers. I got a couple of generic um, Xbox controllers. So yeah, I, I know that the stuff. I know that my PS4 Hori Mini controller seems to work fine uh, with the limited testing I've done. So, of course, you know, the elephant in the room that seems to be for us is um, the Xbox controller compatibility. So, I think um, Qbert... I'll do a we, video of it. Yeah, I'll yeah, do a video of it. If, if we I'll could it. get some testing on the 360 controller and then... Um, Just wired, right? Because I don't have a wireless, so... Yeah, I mean, as I wired or wire. wireless, it doesn't matter, you know, on, on the, the actual Xbox compatibility itself. And then... Okay. Um, yeah, I've got the wired one. Gotta, I just haven't tried it yet. Got to take a look and see if you can use that Xbox One S controller that I shipped to you, Q, with the... I tried it with my Bluetooth dongle. Okay. And it didn't work? And, uh, it it got to the... It saw it. Mm -hmm. It just wouldn't pair. It just wouldn't pair. Okay. So maybe we've got to get that figured out because, of course, you know, this is a, this is a custom AM Logic kernel. It's 4.9, so it should be compatible. We just got to figure out what needs to be added. Because, uh, you know, especially with the additional capabilities that this board has, there's probably going to be a lot of people that are going to want to use the Xbox One S controllers. There's probably going to be a fair amount of people that are going to want to use the I'm one of them. Wii U I want to use it. Yeah, the Wii U and the, the Switch Pro controllers. Right, yeah. So, but okay, yeah, let's go ahead and roll out of this then. And let's go ahead and take a look at one last thing. Uh, we do know that we're going to need to do reboot, reboot, excuse me. So we'll cut and come back because you need to re-enable your game lists. And that takes a little bit of time with that 5 terabyte. And we're going to take a look and see if Killer Instinct 2, if that will run on this board. Because we know that with the XU4, uh, there is definitely a compatibility issue. And uh, you also, you said you wanted to talk uh, a little bit about that uh, Nintendo DS, right? Yeah, so let's go ahead and bring that up here real quick Well, before I, I, I cut while he's doing the reboot. Um, mm -hmm. So the Nintendo DS uh, emulator, mm -hmm. we do have the devs looking at this. Uh, it's not uh, working at this time, but it is something they are looking into to work on. Um, I may be completely wrong, but I believe that it's the fact that um, they don't have a 64-bit variant yet, um, but it is something that, uh, that the Drastic Emulator uh, developers are working on. So if anybody out there in the community is, is curious about that, because it does run pretty well on the XU4, you know, they, they are, it is something that they are actively working on. So yeah, I'm gonna go, we're going to go ahead and uh, cut, and we'll be back here shortly. All right, so yeah, so now we're going to go ahead and take a look at Something just to see for grins if Killer Instinct 2 actually works. Because we know that that's a sore spot where it's it's very choppy or sluggish with the XU4. Right now, it looks like we've done a little bit off, off camera um, or off video. And it looks like the MAME 2003 core uh, actually launches it. And, 2003 uh, Plus, not 2003. Me. Thank you for yeah. correcting me. Uh, 2003 yeah. Plus actually launches it. And you're saying, uh, Qbert, that it's playable, but right now we've got to figure out uh, a sound bug. Right? And that so, just might be my capture card right now, so I'm going to figure it out. I'll figure yeah, it out so tonight, it, but uh, yeah, stuff is very playable. I mean, it's not perfect, but uh, enough to impress the heck out of me. I mean, as you can see, this is the better, best I've seen it run. Although the original Xbox had a Killer Instinct emulator that was that was just based for the Killer Instinct games, that was actually run perfect. Yeah, because here in the capture, or I mean on Discord, I mean it looks like it's it's playable. It does look like it's still a little bit slow, but yeah, it, yeah, it's, it's dropping frames. But I mean, we can tweak that. We could also run it at a lower lower resolution. You know, you could do a whole bunch of things here. So. Right. Plus, but, yeah, we haven't but... tested it with 2016 and everything else either. Right, so the fact that this is running vanilla this well is is pretty is pretty good, yeah. Pretty good, yeah. 
So, all right, guys. Definitely appreciate everybody's time. And for those that uh, are watching this video to make it all the way through, um, we're hoping that this gives a good preview of where we're at with the Alpha on the N2 board. As always, you know, um, we couldn't get to where we're at without the, the great community behind us. Uh, obviously, you know, as well, um, having being part of the deb debugger party, excuse me, is awesome. So we uh, we look forward to be able to, to move forward and provide even more uh, feature updates and uh, just progress in general. So thanks, everybody, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.